I don't think there's ever been a monitor with more features than Samsung's M8. Vadim and I were sitting and talking about how we wish that our new display could have basic computing tasks without having a computer connected. And then one hour later, I saw the launch of the M8 and I bought one immediately. Then a few days later, Samsung reached out and they wanted to sponsor us and send us one of these weeks before my personal order arrived. So let's talk about how this performs, what it offers, and what are its downsides. I've bought a lot of displays in the past, but was looking for something that I could use in my home that was not only 4K, but looked clean and modern so that it wasn't an eyesore for our Windows PC. And this not only fit that, but blew my mind with a crazy amount of capabilities while having a relatively low price tag, especially for its features. Starting off with the design, it looks like a really clean all-in-one with super slim bezels on the top and the sides and a thicker but still thin chin at the bottom with a little piece at the right side for your wireless connectivity, an IR blaster that is used for the included minimalistic remote that gives you controls and shortcuts and it's also rechargeable via USB Type-C. Of course, you can also control it using your smartphone with the SmartThings app which is also used for easy setup. The MA is mostly made from plastic that is surprisingly fingerprint proof, especially the back which has a herringbone pattern that makes it look more premium and interesting. The back is also the only part of the monitor that has a small clean looking logo. The stand is surprisingly heavy with a full metal base at over 5 pounds and it is height adjustable so my kids can lower it for themselves and then I can raise it for optimal height. All of the ports are hidden right behind the stand which is a nice design choice because it makes routing and hiding cables a breeze. For connectivity, we have two USB Type-C ports, one of which will provide up to 65 watts of charging for connected devices, as well as the DisplayPort signal and taking data from the webcam and the microphone to your PC or your Mac. There's also a micro HDMI port with an included cable that connects full-size HDMI devices. Now, being a smart monitor, you can also connect a bunch of devices wirelessly, including Apple devices, with AirPlay from a Mac, iPad, or iPhone. What's even cooler is that you can wirelessly connect to your Samsung phone or tablet with DeX and remotely use your Mac or Windows PC. And since the M8 can connect to keyboards and mice, either wired or through Bluetooth, you can get a full desktop experience without having to have an actual computer connected. Or just open the built-in web browser and use the M8 by itself as a computer, which is enough for basic day-to-day -day tasks that are done on the web or access Office 365. This is something that I would love to see more monitors include especially ones that have powerful hardware already built in and are capable of way more than what the software allows. This makes it a perfect computer to have anywhere in the house because it looks good and because it doesn't become useless if you don't have a computer connected to it. Of course, it's a full-on smart TV with Netflix, YouTube, Apple TV, Disney Plus, and many more apps, including a ton of free channels with Samsung TV Plus. So when you're not using it as a computer monitor, you could stream anything you want with it or to it from your smartphone and the display is actually surprisingly nice but we'll get into that in just a bit. On the back we have magnets and pins for Samsung's slim fit camera which just pops right in place and connects automatically. This allows the M8 to have super thin bezels without having a big forehead while having a really nice large sensor and lens for their webcam. Now, most people just talk about the resolution of their webcam, but the quality can vary no matter what it is. But because of the size, this 1080p webcam looks better than most on the market and it also has face tracking and zooming capabilities built in. You can also tilt the webcam up or down to get the right angle without having to tilt your full monitor. And what is even cooler is the small magnetic privacy cap that stays on the back when you don't need it or when you do, it will just literally easily magnetically attach to the front of the lens. You really can't think of a better webcam solution than what the M8 has. It has really the best of everything and the webcam and mic shows up and works without having to install any software on your Windows computer or your Mac or you just use the built-in Duo app for web calls without a computer. I have to commend Samsung for making it so easy to use and giving people so many options without locking us in. For example, you get to choose if you want to use Bixby as a voice assistant or Amazon Alexa. I've been using Alexa for many years controlling my smart devices so I added it to the M8 and it pretty much turns it into a 
a huge echo show. So when I'm across the room, I can ask it anything and it will respond and even show things on the display itself. And since it has adaptive picture, both the screen brightness and the color temperature will adapt to your room so that it's not way too bright and cool at night when you choose to watch a movie, which is something that is always an issue with regular monitors, especially ones that make you dig deep into a menu to get to the adjustments. Now, if all of that wasn't enough, the M8 is also probably the first display that has a hub built in for smart devices to connect to and to be controlled by. So a bunch of devices, regardless of the brand, can be connected to it and controlled using the SmartThings app without having to use dedicated separate hubs. Now, sure, it is a large 32 inch size with a 4K resolution, which gives us a PPI of 140. Now, if you're somebody that's coming from, say, a 1080p 24 inch display, that is 92 PPI. So it will look quite a bit sharper, even though it is much larger. 27 inch 1440p monitors are about 108 PPI. So this is still sharper, but I personally am used to a 5K 27 inch display, which is up to 218 PPI. Now, of course, those are way more expensive and they don't come with any of the smart features. So as far as resolution, you can't really complain, especially for the price point. As far as brightness, it is rated at 400 nits, which is above average, but to our eyes and even our camera's meters, it seems to be reaching brighter levels than that. The display is matte to combat glare, so I was a bit worried about contrast, but to our surprise, it has better contrast than Apple's best IPS panel paired to glass instead of a regular matte film. Now that is because Samsung is using a VA panel that has lower viewing angles, but much better contrast, which makes blacks a lot deeper, giving your highlights more pop as well. As far as color accuracy, it has a billion color range and 99% sRGB, so it will work for a lot of people. And as always, I would suggest getting a calibrator for serious photo or video work. The speakers get quite loud, so you can use it for playing music, watching movies, or anything else across the room. But being that this thing is so incredibly thin, it does lack bass. So if you're gonna be watching movies, which it is really good at, I would suggest adding some dedicated speakers, like most would be for their computer, or maybe some kind of a sound bar. Other than that, the only downside would be the external power brick because of the ultra thin design of this monitor. But even though I prefer internal ones, for a device like this that's supposed to be sleek, I think they probably made the right choice. Overall, the M8 is an absolute killer value, offering so many features for the money, and it is perfect for a home office, a dorm room, or really anywhere where one device can not only be a monitor, but also your main TV and so much more. Let me know your thoughts about it down below and check out the link in the video description to get more info. Click above to subscribe and check out one of those great videos right over there. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Max and I will see you in the next video.